Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to VFX 101. Today I will teach you how to create a Black Widow movie title animation. Let's start. I divided this lecture into two different parts. First, I will teach you about 3ds Max for character animation and container modeling. I have a 3D model for Black Widow. Download link available below the description. First, we detach some costume parts. Click element selection option and select the specific object. Under added geometry, click detach. Select wristband and detach. And select the some belt parts and detach. Now press M key to material editor. Click assign material to selection and change the color into white. Hit OK. Next, select belt and revolver and apply same color. Select black video body and click second shader, apply material and change the color into black. Now the time to rig your character. First I attach all body parts to single mesh. Press F key to jump the front viewport. On the command panel, go to the systems and click the biped and select the body type female. Create a biped. Press P key for perspective view. Okay, go to the motion panel and click figure mode. Then choose any transform tool and set the biped. Now we match all biped bones under the character. First, I match the legs, then left hand, copy hand posture and pass to the opposite side. Set the neck. Okay, now we attach the body with the biped. Simple select the body and apply physique modifier. Then click attach to node icon. And press H key to select by name option and select the pelvis. Press F3 key to wireframe. Now you see these yellow lines. That means your body is completely attached with biped. Press F3, select the biped foot and move upward, great, select second foot and move again, cool. Okay, select the left hand and move, great, select the right hand and move, oh oh, don't worry about it. Now we set the envelope, select the body, under the physical modifier, you will find the envelope option. Select the biped hand and see this empty area. That means these fingers need more envelope. Simple increase the child overlap value. Unselect the envelope and now move the hand. Okay, now we create a walk animation. Go to the motion control. Click footstep mode icon. Under the footstep creation, select the walk preset. Then click footstep at current frame. And click multiple footstep. Number of footsteps like 10. Hit OK. Now you see 10 footsteps. OK, click on create keys for inactive footsteps. And play the slider. Cool. Okay, now the time model this container. First, uh, we create a box. Right click 
and convert into editable poly select polygon selection and delete the front face apply shell modifier to increase the thickness or box again convert into editable poly check the width and height of the box select the scale tool and resize the box next we create a side panel press T key for top viewport move back the side panel and create some duplicates press shift key and move the Y direction clone option will appear set number of copies 10 okay select all side panels press alt key to deselect extra selection and duplicate the side panels set panel on right direction okay now we create a top boxes shades Okay, next we create bottom lights simple create a box then create a cylinder reduce the cylinder radius and rotate into 90 degree set the cylinder to the center of the box and set the position on the top viewport ok apply material Now we create multiple duplicates and set them into a right position. Next we render only the character. Simple select the character and click isolate icon. Go to the render setup. select the output size full HD next we add the light go to the light panel and select standard and choose the omni light set the light direction and press F9 for render ok press add key to change the background color change the background color and render again ok next we create a camera press ctrl c and set the angle go to the time configuration set frame rate 120 fps then go to the render setup and set the frame range 80 to 400 save the render output file into png format hit render after render turn off the isolate mode and 
hide the character. Now we apply the material to all my objects. Okay, export the model into OBJ format. After exporting model, jump into the After Effects. Create a new solid layer. Apply Element 3D plugin. Go to the scene setup and import the model. Okay, now the time to apply metal shader to our model. Under the Pro Shader 2, you will find the metal texture. Apply one by one to the different objects layer and set the UV. And reflection value. Next, apply the camera with 50 mm preset. Set the camera angle. Under the render setting, turn on ambient occlusion and shadow. Select light preset 360. Next, create a point light with the red color. Set the light position. Now we animate the camera. Apply a position key and zoom the camera. Then move the slider at 3 seconds and zoom out. Add more point lights. Create adjustment layer. Apply Magic Bullet Look plugin. And select and I select the classic ultimatum preset. Change the Clarista color and the red color. Okay, now I am creating vintage look for side dark edges. Next, import the character sequence PNG. Turn on the 3D mode to apply light source. Okay, set 50 percentage stretch factor value to the fast speed R character. Okay, apply inner shadow layer style. Change the color into red. And increase the size value. And less the opacity value. Okay, apply the position keyframe animation. Play the video. Cool. 
Last one more thing. Add the reflection. Okay guys, this is the uh, first part of the video. I hope you like this video. If this video is helpful to you, share more much as more. Subscribe the VFX 101 and must press the bell icon. Thank you.